Hi guys, my name is Robin and today I'm here to bring you my September wrap up. So this month I ended up reading five books, um, which was just okay actually. Um, I did have university this month and it was the last month of university so the last two weeks I had a ton of assignments due and stuff like that so I didn't get to read in those last two weeks at all. So five books is alright considering it's just like the first two weeks of September. Um, but since university is over it's going to be a hell of a lot more than that and I'm very very excited because I have so many books to read and I'm planning on finishing a lot of series off before the end of the year. So hopefully October is going to be great but getting into September let's see all the books that I read and kind of go through them with you. So the first book that I read was Mortal Heart by Robin Lefevers and this is the third book in the His Fair Assassins trilogy. And I absolutely loved it. I gave it five stars just as I've given the other two books in the series five stars. It's actually one of my favourite series that I have ever read and I put it off for so long <laughs> so I'm really happy that I have finally finished it. Each of the books in this series follows a different character um, so they're more companion novels but it also follows on the same story but just from a different girl's perspective. Um, which when I started I always get like this with companion novels is that the first book I'll love it, I'll love the characters and I just want to read from them again and see where their story is going. And then we move on to another character, so the first like, I don't know, 50, 100 pages I'm like, oh I just want to be with that other character, see what they're doing instead of this character. But then by the end of the book I'm absolutely in love with this new character and then I get to the third book and then it all happens over again. <laughs> but in the end I absolutely loved all of them. Um, this book really wrapped up the series really well, which I really enjoyed. Um, there's a lot of aspects to this book. The world building is incredible. The magic system I find really interesting as well, because in this world um, people have gods and saints that they pray to um, and they basically influence their followers in some ways, like some of them um, are actually born from them. So the characters that we follow in this book are the Daughters of Mortan, um, who is one the god of death, um, and they get their abilities from actually being from his bloodline, um, whereas other ones they're basically given more abilities um, because they follow a certain god or saint. Um, and it's really interesting and I love it. <laughs> if you haven't read it, you really should. Um, it's set kind of like in a renaissance kind of era um, and it's it's just fantastic. I loved it so much. <laughs> the second book that I read was City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty and this is one of the books that was on my TBR from my Pointless TBR and I absolutely loved it. <laughs> it was fantastic. I read it while well, I listened to it through audiobook um, and it was amazing. I loved the audiobook because some of the names I feel like if I read them I wouldn't be able to make heads or tails of how it would be pronounced, so <laughs> listening to the audiobook made it a hell of a lot easier for me. But I love this book. I thought I would because everyone seems to be reading and loving this book lately, um, but it's just incredible. The world building, amazing. The magic system was also really interesting because again, so in this world um, you have Jin um, or Devas, depending on where they fall um, and they get particular magical abilities depending on what bloodline they come from um, which is also some kind of similar to the last one but very different in other ways um, so we follow a character who at the beginning of the book didn't know that they were Jin or part Jin um, and so they start off just in Cairo they're living on the streets they've been um, well, they always thought they were um, an orphan. And so then this djinn comes along and tells them that they have to go and travel to the city of Brass. And it just starts from there. I love the characters. I absolutely love the characters. <laughs> they were amazing. Um, and I really enjoyed the relationship that kind of built up. It's kind of an enemies to lovers or hate to love 
kind of storyline <laughs> for our main characters. Um, and then the ending ends on such a cliffhanger. <laughs> and it was one of the most heartbreaking things ever. <laughs> and I really wanted to get to the next book, but I'd had other books to read. So I'll be reading it this month, I'm pretty sure. October is going to be the month I'm going to finish this series because <laughs> it's amazing. But the first book, fantastic. Loved it. Highly recommend. Five stars as well. <laughs> the next book that I read was Dark Harmony by Laura Thalassa. And this is the third book in the, the Bargain series. That's what it's called. Um, and this is a trilogy, so this was the last book. Um, and I, I loved it as well. I gave it five stars. And I've loved this series so much. <laughs> it's a kind of dark fae story. It's incredible. <laughs> There's a lot of mystery and some pretty messed up things actually that happen throughout the series. Um, but this third book, it wrapped it up so well. The mystery that we've been looking into for three books finally has a resolution, which is really all I've wanted. It's been so long <laughs> that I've been reading this series and I just wanted to know what the hell was going on with this storyline and these characters. And um, it's great. <laughs> uh, I love the romance within this series. Um, some people say that it's smutty, but I wouldn't consider it to be, I'd consider it more to be romance than smut. Um, so if you don't like kind of smutty stuff, then this, I wouldn't consider it to be, I think it'd be more romance than smut. Um, but it's definitely fantastical. There is a hell of a lot of fantasy elements. Um, our main character is Siren. Um, and one of the other characters is Faye, or a lot of the other characters are Faye, and then we have witches in there as well. Um, and werewolves at the very beginning of the series. <laughs> um, or shapeshifters. I can't actually remember if they're werewolves or shapeshifters. Um, but it's full of magic. It's incredible. Um, I would highly recommend it to anyone who likes dark fae kind of stories. It is pretty dark in some parts. Our main, well one of our, well, actually both of our main characters are dark. <laughs> they do some messed up stuff. <laughs> so if you don't like having characters where they're morally grey, then maybe not, but I loved it. It was fantastic. So the next book that I read is actually the first physical book <laughs> that I read, and that one is One Giant Leap by Hela Kaczynski. Um, and this is the second book in the duology, Dare Mighty Things duology. Um, and this book, I read the first book, I think it was about a year ago now, and I've been meaning to get to this one ever since. Um, but I enjoyed the first book so much, I gave it five stars. Um, and I, it kind of ends in a way where I didn't know where the story was going to go and if I would like it, which is why I had put this off for so long. Um, and I ended up giving it three stars. It was okay. <laughs> it's really the main kind of feeling I have for this book. It was just alright. There were a lot of scenes that kind of dragged on. Like most of the book is just them going from place to place. <laughs> which you know, isn't the most interesting. So the writing style in this book was a little lacklustre. Um, it kind of falls into the way of writing where it's telling you instead of showing you. It's a lot of um, dialogue based writing, which I don't really enjoy. <laughs> I kind of like to see the character's thought process, how they come to certain conclusions instead of just having you know, the characters talk back and forth about what they've kind of deduced themselves. Um, but it was an okay book. I got to see where it finally ends up with the conclusion, so I'm happy about that. Uh, but overall, it was just okay. <laughs> the last book that I read this month was Fables Volume 9. Um, and I love Fables. I love Fables so much. <laughs> I had forgotten how much I loved this graphic novel series because I, ha I think the last time I read one of them was at least a year or two ago and I absolutely loved it. I gave it five stars and it makes me actually want to finish up with the ones that I have. I have up until number 11 or 12 I think physically 
um, and our libraries are opening again soon, so I could actually get the rest of them from the library. <laughs> um, but this series, it's quite far in now, we're on volume 9, um, but it follows all manner of magical creatures, Snow White and the Big Bad Wolf are one of our main characters, um, as well as Rose Red, um, Rapunzel, Sleeping Beauty, um, Beauty and the Beast, you know, there's a lot of characters, and the storylines are also really interesting because you kind of see their backstories a hell of a lot more, and also what happens after, like, the ordinary fables that you've heard about. So, and also them in modern day, so it goes from them going from the fabled lands, which they leave, they are exiled off to the mortal world, and they end up in New York City. Um, and it's it's really interesting. I love it. I love all the relationships um, in this as well. Um, I think it's one of the last chapters. The authors and artists um, asked um, fans to submit questions um, that they have about the series, just random little things, nothing that would spoil anything. Um, and they wrote little stories to show the answers to those questions, which I thought was great. <laughs> Because it really shows that there is a great fan base and great artists and authors within this series. Um, and I cannot wait to read the next one, so I might do that soon. So those were the five books that I read this month. I only have two physically, so it's a pretty boring stack, considering three of them are not here. <laughs> um, but it was a good reading month. There was only one book that I gave three stars, and everything else got five. So actually, it was an excellent reading one. <laughs> um, I did start one other book, I have it here as well. Um, it was The Golden Tower, but I only got like 100 pages in before I got too busy with university. So it does not count. <laughs> but the five books that I read were fantastic. Good reading month, even though I didn't get too many books read, I read some awesome books, which is great. So thank you for watching my wrap up. Uh, my TBR will be up soon as well, so you'll see what I'm going to read for this month. Uh, but thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.